Hey everybody, Damien here from Global Trading Software. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, as you know, we've recently uh, released the harmonics indicator for Think or Swim. Uh, but what we've managed to do now is we've actually managed to create a scanner which allows you to have a bird's eye view on potential harmonic patterns appearing uh, without you actually having to keep changing your charts all the time. Okay, uh, and this video is really just to try and give you um, a guide on exactly how you set it up. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to come to your navigation section on the left hand side here. Um, and then if you don't have a watch list set up, what you do is you come down here to the bottom where it's got your plus and you're going to click that. And all you do is select watch list here. So what you want to do is you want to come down to this down here and you want to click customize. And make sure this only symbol here. If there's anything else, you can just uh, click it and remove item. Now, what you're going to do is you're looking for something called custom. Okay. Now, you can add multiples of these, but let's just do one at a time. So we're going to add this one here. Uh, we're going to give it a name. So let's, for example, give this the five minutes. Okay. So we'll just call it five minute. We need to change this here, and we need to change that to five minutes as well. Then. On the tabs here, you need to select Think Script Editor. So if you go across here, highlight that, and then you're going to paste in the scripts that would have been sent to you. And then all you need to do is click Apply, and then OK. And then do the same again. So you can move across Custom 4, add that over, call that the 30 minutes. Uh, obviously, don't get to change it here, 30 minutes. Think script editor, paste in the script, apply, and then OK. And then you just click OK here. And what you'll see is you've got columns here for 5 minutes and 30 minutes. And then it's at this point you then put in your symbol. So, for example, we want to put in ES. Just type in the symbol ES. It will load. Now, if there is a uh, pattern appearing, it will say so in these columns. If not, then it will just stay blank. And then again, you just do the same again. So if we wanted to do, I don't know, Aussie US dollar, do the same thing again. It will again do the loading. So it takes a little bit of time to, to load it up. Not always going to be there, but eventually what will happen is if you have several time frames, again, customize, let's bring in one more. Let's call that one hour. Think script editor, paste, apply, and OK. You can see, let's just check and see if there's any uh, any patterns appearing. If there's nothing there, what I'll do is I'll quickly grab a couple and then I'll show you what it looks like. OK, so I'm back and I've added a couple of items into the watch list. Uh, but as you can see here, the M2K on the four hour, so I've set one up for basically five minute, 30 minute, one hour, four hour daily. There's the one minute there as well. But as you can see here, because we are in the middle of a potential Gartsley harmonic pattern here, it has highlighted it into the watch list. So basically, you just add in the instruments that you're going to be trading, and you just leave it be. You let it do its work. Uh, when a pattern is a p p well, a pattern is appearing, shall we say, um, then it will appear here and all you got to do is just click on that and it will take you straight to the chart. That's pretty much it. That's as easy as it is. Um, it takes a little bit of setting up, but once you've done, then you've got it there and you can just basically keep an eye out for everything that's going to be happening uh, from the harmonics point of view. Now, if you guys do have any other questions, feel free to send me an email. Uh, you can email me, Damien at globaltradingsoftware.com or info at tradethefifth.com. Uh, thanks very much for your time.